The Airbus A350 is set to be the largest wide-body aircraft built by the European plane maker, once the A380 ends production early next year, while the Boeing 777X set to be the largest twin jet ever to operate commercially. The 777X has taken the first flight on January of 2020. Still on the testing stage, the 777X have not yet been delivered to an airline but the A350 have been in the service since 2015 with more than 360 in service. When we see on the airline orders. The A350 launched with Qatar Airways as launch customer and the type has been delivered to 34 different airlines around the world with Qatar Airways, Singapore Airlines, and Cathay Pacific among the biggest operators. The A350 had a total order of 913 but. On the triple X side there is not yet any delivered aircraft but it accumulated over 308 orders. As we can see the A350 received more orders than 777X went on in the same stage. There's no maximum passenger capacity published yet, but it seems the passenger capacity of the 777X will be greater than A350. Every airline is concerned with is the fuel burn per passenger. The A350 burn per seat is 0.09 pounds per nautical mile. The 777-9, in comparison, comes out at 0.11 pounds per seat per nautical mile. With the maximum range of 7,285 nanometers for the A340 and maximum range of 8,700 nanometers for the 777X. However the A350 gets a straight win in the price range as the A350-1000 is $366.5 million and the Ripple 7-9 being marketed at $442.2 million. At the same time the, the triple seven x gets a clear win in the passenger category as the A350-1000 can carry max passenger of 366 while the Boeing triple seven x can carry up to 426 passengers. The epilogue between the A350 and the triple seven x was interesting to see. On paper, both are great aircraft, with similar range in passenger capacity. A350 wins the comparison by cost effectiveness and the 777X by passenger capacity. But will the ultra wide body aircraft be in demand during the pandemic? When all jumbo jets being retired and airlines preferring efficient models like a 220 and the A321 Neo. What's your opinion? Let us know in the comments.